What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Jacko Zhang career mode, getting down to the end of the season. So let's let's start out by doing what we normally do. Let's have a look at the Jack's player rating. Here we are, same as last time, at 75 overall, 2.1 million value, and still a lot of green. I don't think we got too many boosts in the last episode, maybe one or two, but still, looking good, looking sharp. Quick look at the calendar, here's what's on the line in this episode. We have St. Patrick's in the semi-final of the EA Sports Cup, and then League against UCD Dublin and Sligo Rovers, and then quick look at next month, two matches, Drakita and Cork, and then the first year with Jacko Zhang is over. We've arrived at this first match in the EA Sports Cup semi-final against St. Patrick's. We are at home, so should be good. Great night for football, Bray Wanderers at home to St. Pat's. Jacko Zhang, of course, starting at right back, where he has done so for most of the season. Semi-final. Oh, UCD Dublin beat Derry in the other semi-final. If we make it through, we have good chances. Um, UCD are not the best team in the league. I think they're sitting down near the bottom of the league table. Only time will tell. And this match, of course. Quick throw in. It's gone beyond. Go and have that handling. Take the shot. It's just wide. And across the back post, free header. Who picked him up? It certainly wasn't me. I was marking my guy. What happened? We'll need to have a look. Yep, he just had plenty of space to cross. I don't know who was supposed to be marking that guy. Any of the two, two or three defenders in the middle should have been on him, but they weren't. And we've gone behind. Across the middle, squared up. Yes. Plays it off in behind. Finish it. Oh, it's saved and gone behind. Put it to the near post. He tries the bicycle. It's blocked and cleared away. Oh, lovely turn by Jack. He's got the space. He's at the post. Put that away. Yes! The rebound, and we are back level. Jack making things happen. Just run around in circles around this guy. Come on. There you go. Hug him. That's it. <laughs> Lovely little burst of pace inside from Jack. Rifling the shot, but it came back off the post. Only to our other striker who could just tap it in to make us level. Jack now with space out on the wing. Oh, lovely ball inside. Puts it across. Oh, he's tackled it. It's saved off the line and cleared. Oh, it's too deep. So I'm making the run. Not too much on it. But there's halftime. Oh, well. We are at one each. An early goal for St. Patrick's was cancelled out by quick feet from Jack. And then the shot just came back off the post to our striker, Lions. He was able to put it in and draw us even. Perfect. Well in Jack. We get some aggression for that interception. Nice. In behind. Poor touch. Oh, you couldn't put it in. Square it up, square it up. Jack's in the box. Hit that! Get in, Jack! There you go. Open space. And all the time in the world to take the goal. Bray are going to the finals, baby! Oh, what a... Just found the space. Little burst inside. Hammered in at the near post. Just like you do. Inside the Jack in the box again. He skipped around his man. Brought down, but he shoots, and it's two! Well done, Jack. Right at the end, Jack springs to life, bags a couple of goals, and has put the tie beyond all doubt now. Lovely turn. Tried to go in and bring him down. Not off the keeper, but I don't care. Goal's a goal. Well done, Jack. Jack not able to win the ball. Sends it away, and that's full time. 
3-1. Two late goals from Jack to secure berth into the final where we'll play UCD Dublin. One final match to end off the series. I'm assuming it'll be after the, the league's over. Good stuff. A man of the match position for the 10th time earns us some more attack position. And more attack position from the mental accomplishments. Acceleration for our 30th match. Ooh, colored winter gloves. That's very nice. More ball control. Man, they're all just flowing in. Marking. Excellent. And then we're done. All right. 8.9 match rating at the end. Not bad. Two goals. Two shots on target. The passing, fairly decent. Only a few that failed. A good key pass. We didn't win any tackles. We didn't go in for any tackles. I don't know where this 0 and 2 is coming from. Positioning was pretty good. One interception, only three out of position. And the ball retention, I still don't believe it means anything. A clearance, A header 1. Good stuff, Jack. There it is. The EA Sports Cup is ours to be had. Dublin and Bray in the final. Just a quick look at the calendar before we go any further. Yep, the Dublin Cup final will be a good week or so after the next or the previous match, last match against Cork. And just to get a bit of a taste test for that cup final match coming at the end of the season, we're playing UCD Dublin away for the league next. Here we go on a rainy night. Bray Wonders are visiting UCD Dublin in a prequel to the cup final that's about to come up at the end of the season. That'll be end of the next episode. Here we are, we're in sixth. They're in 10th. Good tie. Let's go do this. Switches it across the middle. Well done, Jack. Use the square. Has a shot. It's saved. Jack's trying to get in. And it's cleared away. Played through the middle. Across there. The shot's in. It's wide. Oh, everyone just jumps out of the way. Big save. And they've cleared. Oh, they haven't cleared it. They've given it straight back again. And a great save from the keeper that time. And it is halftime. Chaos in the back. The defense just can't sort it out. Jack's doing everything he can. But he's only one man. Can't handle everything. But at least we're still scoreless. Nil-nil. No real chances. We'll try and work something in the second half. Lovely ball from Jack to clear the danger. And then they give it away immediately. Oh, stop it. And the shot goes wide. Defense just can't sort it out. Jack's doing all he can. The rest of them letting them run riot. Jack going on the outside. Tries to float across, but takes forever. Does get some agility though. And dribbling. Ooh, and star skill moves. And sprint speed! Lots of stuff there. Pinging the ball about, aren't we? Over the top, lovely ball from Jack. Put that away. Always oh, put it wide. Oh, are you serious? Ball across the middle. And it's in the net. Dublin take a goal because the midfielders couldn't pass. Really poor. And I don't know why we're going all out attack on an away ground. This is the one where you'd expect them to park the bus, but they haven't. There is no sense in the formations chosen by the AI in this game. Keeper came out. The striker was not fooled and just placed it in the bottom corner. Good attacking, but we never should have lost the ball in the first place. It's worth defending. Gives it back. Very cool ball. Play man. Yep, that's it. Don't take it back out. Shot. It's wide. Long ball in. Jack wins it, but not a single minute of stoppage time given. 
The board just went up for three. Three seconds was all it was given. Dublin walking away. Victors, although it was stolen. Poor tactics, poor play, poor refereeing. Not much Bray can do. Not much Jack can do. Bray could have done a lot more. Not a bad overall rating for Jack. 7.2. No shooting. Decent passing. The tackling was sublime, even though I thought I was doing terribly. I thought I missed every single tackle, but apparently you got to miss to get a good score. Positioning, not bad. Ball retention, 5-5. Five and five. If you play like garbage, you get good ratings. What is this? Makes no sense. Here we are, last match of the episode at home to Sligo Rovers. This will be the last match of the second to last episode of this series. Just a quick look at our objectives right down here. It's a bit difficult to see with the gold in the back, so, but our rating is doing fine. We've got the clean sheets. Fouls are great, and that tackling got a little bit of a boost from the last match. We did pretty well. So let's go, let's do it! Bray stepping out on the field one more time. They've had a good break between this match and the last, so everyone's fresh. A few of the players were really tired after playing the League Cup semi-final. Sligo are way above us, and unless we get a lot of wins, I think six is going to be a position we're going to end in. Yeah, that's the deal. Let's do it. Oh, Jack's won it. Through the gap. Go on. You're through on goal. He struck it and he's put it wide. Golden chance missed by Lions. Play it in. Jackson behind. He's hit it. Oh, it's tipped away. And we get some long shots for that shot on target. Out to Hanlon. Oh, he just took too long. Oh, well in. And he's going to call a foul. Really? And yellow card coming out to somebody for a perfectly clean tackle, actually. We'll watch the replay. He thought he wasn't going to get to the ball here, so he slides in, takes it all, and the man just flops over. It's a clean tackle. Cross comes in near post. Nobody gets it. The shot. It's deflected. Headed on goal. It's wide again. Pressing them back. Oh, well done. Here we go. And that's half time. It's been a bizarre first half. We've had a couple of chances, a couple of weird decisions going around from the referee and crew. But we haven't really conceded any chances, which is great. Defending's been good. Although the rating system has been a bit weird, going up for lots of good reasons and then down a whole lot for no reason. Jack with a free kick at the top of the box. Maybe we can curl this one in. Up and over, it's deflected, get there! Oh, he got a touch, it came off the keeper. Oh, he's giving a goal kick, though! Oh, one by Jack, just heads it down. Switch it up, switch it up. Into the box, oh, flick it! Jack with the volley from range, but it's over the top. The keeper came out, was left his goal open. Jack couldn't get around it, though. Jack threw into the box, pushed off. Play a switch. We've still got it though. And it comes. Jack's got it. And there's full time. Couldn't get around him. Nil nil. It was a defensive display from Sligo from the beginning. I don't think they had a single shot the whole game. And it was just poor def or poor offensive choices that didn't get us the win. That clear chance of the ball was played through to the guy. Perfectly onside. Perfect chance to score. All you have to do is flick it past the keeper and go in, but instead he decided to drop it back. Not a bad game from Jack as well. 7.3 rating. Few shots, most of them on target. Great passing, only one failed pass. That's awesome. Tackling was good again as well. 6 and 2. Out of position a lot. Lost the ball a lot, but won a good header. Alright, guys. League table. This is where we end our episodes. We are sitting right smack in the middle of the table. If we lose a game, or actually, we can't drop any further than six. We're with two games remaining. Well, I, uh, no, Derry can beat us because they have an extra game on hand, but they're playing at St. Pat, so I'm not worried about that. 
even if we lose both games, if Derry don't win every game, they have no chance. Drakita's too far out of the running. And we're six points behind Dundalk and Shamrock. But unless we get really good results, there's no hope. All they need is a point to get ahead of us, and then they'll cement their positions in fourth and fifth. Thank you for watching Jack Ojang Player Career Mode. Leave some comments. Where do you think we're going to head after the season is over? Three more games, one episode, and then we'll spend an episode on transfer stuff and maybe a couple of friendlies, see what happens. Don't know where we're going to go. Let's have to see what comes up. Like the video for some good Jack stuff. And subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.